This is Will Buchanan reporting for the Walk for Liberty. It's May 7th, 2008, day 24. We're doing a bit of shopping at Walmart and are getting some Indiana Jones cornflakes. Looks like one of his monsters is escaping from the box. Hulk want government to leave him alone! I had reported the other day that we had tried to change the black water valve ourselves. Unfortunately, in the process, we messed the seal up, which made the leak even worse than it was before. So we ended up having to take it to an RV service center so that they could replace it professionally, as well as the gray water valve, which was also leaking. We're walking along the Columbia River Gorge Highway. This should be the first of many waterfalls we see along here. Wonder what this used to be. Brooke was noticing all these embedded rocks in the cliff along the side of the road. I'm guessing they must have been deposited on some seabed at some point in the past. And then later the Columbia River carved out this gorge, exposing them again. I just love these restaurants along the side of the road out in the middle of nowhere. Another old abandoned shop along the side of the road. One dilemma I'm having is deciding which route to take through Idaho. There's a mountain range with no roads going through it, so we either have to go north around them or south. The northern route also goes through mountains, so is probably much more scenic, but it also has no data connectivity through my cell phone. Another advantage of the northern route is that it would lead to us going more through Montana, which I'd really like to do. If we go south, it might not be a scenic, but we could have cell connectivity the whole time. Since my cell phone is my fallback internet option, and since the northern route is very sparsely populated and probably doesn't have much in the way of Wi-Fi, taking the northern route might leave us without internet for many days. Since much of the promotion for the Walk for Liberty is being done over the internet, Going the northern route might not be realistic, even though I'd really like to go through the mountains. Unfortunately, the shoulder along this road has been a little dangerous too. When we were coming up this way, we had the choice of walking with no shoulder at all on the left-hand side, or with a tiny little shoulder on the right-hand side with cars whizzing by us to the left. Which would you choose? This is Will Buchanan, signing off for blog.walkforliberty.com.